Hi and a very warm welcome to another tutorial of PC video series. This is Mank Agarwal here. And in this tutorial we are going to see how to install Ubuntu 13.10, the saucy salamander version in VirtualBox, a step by step tutorial. Friends, this is the final beta release, not the final version that will be released on October 17. But I don't expect any major changes in that version. This, the one I am showing you is a 32 bit version, but in case you have a 64 bit OS with a 64 bit ISO, you can follow the same procedure and you will get the same results. So here we begin. So when we start the virtual box manager, we click on the new machine. Uh, let it named as Ubuntu 13.10 Saucy Salamander. Click on next. I prefer giving 1 GB RAM to Ubuntu. Makes it install fast and run smooth. Click on next. Then I prefer creating a new virtual hard drive. Now the latest version has many other options. I select the default one which virtual drive supports. It's always better to have a dynamic partition, saves hard disk space. And selecting file location and size. You can suggest the default drive. I mean depending if you have a less space on that drive, make sure that you have another drive. So for Ubuntu make sure at least you have 5 GB of free space on the particular drive you are selecting. And then click create. Okay, the virtual machine is created. Now you can click the start button. Or you can right click the virtual machine and click on start. So now it will ask you for the ISO size. So just click browse and you can navigate to the folder in which you have kept your file. See I have both the 64 and the 32 bit version but since my current system is 32 bit I am selecting the 32 bit. So 386 specifies the 32 bit. Click on open. Then start. So here's my Ubuntu being loaded. It may take some time. Here it is. Ubuntu 13.10. Uh, these things which I am closing are just the virtual box messages. So they are no way related to the Ubuntu installation. One thing to remember is while installing in VirtualBox or on a real platform, it is better to disable the net while installing. So in the rightmost button you can just right click and untick this, enable networking. I don't know why it's not taking but it should not take. And the advantage is being here if we install with the updates while installing it takes a whole lot of time. Okay it's always better to install the system first and then using your sudo app git upgrade or the GUI upgrade you can upgrade it. Okay so if you wish you can install the third party software then click continue. Uh, then we have many options here. Erase disk and install Ubuntu will actually erase all of your hard drive and install according the partition manager Ubuntu decides. This is the least preferred option which I do. Second is encrypt the new Ubuntu installation for security. This is this goes along with the previous option if you wish to have. I normally prefer something else. You can give your own partition size. So click next. So this is your hard drive. As you see, it's a 8.6 GB partition. So here you can create a new partition. So that is completely blank. It will tell you that okay, you cannot undo this. Just click continue. 
so here you go you have a free space with 8.5 GB so click on this plus button okay so upon your wish you can maybe give some let's say we give 6 GB with an ext4 journaling system a primary partition with root as the mount point So we have again 2.5 GB left. We add another partition. Click on the free space. Click on this plus button. And we can select say 1 GB of fast storage. So 1000 MB. Mount point just make it. Oh sorry. You can select directly from here. Swap area. Okay. The window automatically goes for selecting the partition type. You just select the swap area. Um, one important tip for those having UEFI laptops okay the latest laptops in which Windows 8 is coming and those having the UEFI enabled so you need to create an additional drive with the EFI partition okay for that you just need to click this plus button uh, 500 MB would be enough but since my is a old desktop I don't have any EFI option for the latest laptop having the EFI option you will see an option here EFI partition okay like fat 16 32 and all these things you will have an option for EFI partition so select that EFI partition and do make a 500 MB EFI partition this will help you make the dual boot OS very easily okay so that can be disregarded for right now so we have two partition as the ext4 partition SDA1 with a root mode mount point and a swap partition that will be placed in SDA5 I click install now you can select your region I select India then keyboard layout keeping it to US only so your name let's say I keep the name as Ubuntu only this is all your choice if you have ever installed Ubuntu then you may know these steps so my password is also Ubuntu. If you want your machine to be highly secure, you can encrypt your home folder. I don't like the encryption, so I just unkept the option disabled. Okay, so this is something new, I guess. I'm disconnecting my net. Um, okay, via virtual box. So I can just select login later and there it goes. So my Ubuntu installation has begun. This may take some time. So I will mention the time in the video description so you can directly skip it. Alternatively I will also keep an annotation so that you can directly skip this portion. This will be just copying the files and for completeness I am just keeping this video tutorial on The expected final release date of this is October 17 as per the Ubuntu community. So hopefully this has lesser bugs. 13.04 when I worked has lot of bugs, lot of crashes. So let's hope the Ubuntu team fixes many in these 13.10. And remember 13.04 and 13.10 both are not LTS. Okay, so if you want to have a long term version either wait for 14.04 or continue using 12.04.
taking a lot of time even to certain content let's see hope we have new features or something There is not much left here now just will create a user install some settings some parent target partition it will install the bootloader and then it will ask for a restart after restarting you can work on your new ubuntu with 13.10 almost about to complete Final step, <coughs> running grub install dev fps, it is a grub loader. And now it's removing the temporary file that it might have used within the partition and installing the OS. So there you go, the installation is complete, it is asking for a restart, let's restart the system, voila, so Ubuntu 13.10 done, almost I guess 15 to 20 minutes for the installation.
so please remove any installation media and close and press enter press enter so the virtual machine is restarting My Ubuntu will be done. Okay, the password was Ubuntu. Uh, it is showing disconnected because I have disconnected my virtual machine from internet. If your system is connected to internet, it will not show the disconnected message. Okay. So you have those uh, Unity interface. So let's see which version of Ubuntu Firefox is there. So you get the latest version, the 24 version 24 of Firefox. And let's take the kernel version. Terminal. Just try it. You name minus a. So we have the kernel 3.11. So quite latest. We can go in the file manager, the desktop, home folder, and everything. Quite similar to 13.04. That will be. So that's it. Quite simple to install virtual in virtual box and even if you install a real system it will be the same steps and the same procedure. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time. Goodbye.